Debris formed after eruption anti satellite tests do not pose any threat to space activity, Russian Defense Minister Sanjay Shoigu said. He said the missile had struck an old Russian satellite dating back to the 1980s with clinical precision. The United States earlier condemned Russia for conducting a dangerous and irresponsible test on 16 November 2021. He said the space debris has forced crew aboard the International Space Station ISS to shelter in capsules. The ISS currently has seven crew members on board, four Americans, two Russians and a German, and orbits at an altitude of about 420 km, that is 360 miles. On Tuesday, 16 November 2021, the Russian Defense Ministry confirmed that a day earlier, a Russian missile had destroyed the satellites which had been inactive. The ministry said China, India and the United States have already carried out similar tests. The United States Department spokesman Ned Price earlier said the Russian action demonstrates the country's claim of opposing weaponization of space and this ingenious and hypocritical, adding that the United States will work with its allies to respond to irresponsible acts. The anti-satellite test fits into the wider issue of space debris, which is being made worse by continuing human activities in space. There is now a wide jungle of debris overhead, everything from old rocket stage that continue to loop around the Earth decades after they were launched to the flecks of paints that have lifted off one shiny space vehicle and floated off into the distance.